Well, I think you all know us by now, and now we like to be a little bit thought-provoking or provocative with a thing. And this simple salute shape at the beginning of a class represents a weapon. And just this week, to finish with, we're going to go and change area, and rather than somebody just grabbing us, look at another super instinctive thing that people do. And we're going to go and look at the ground. Now, I don't know if you can all remember your first grappling classes. What do most people do? They just grab the head and they don't let go of it. And the same in the guard, you've got to try and catch the head and keep the head down. So we're just going to check out the guard and catching somebody's head. And look how this simple salute is just sweet in the same place. So, as you all know, the DNA is a stop and drop process. It's a bloodborne street defense process, okay? Now, we've got the rings in play, these things. I mean, just open you like a knife through butter and the same with this one as well. It's just, it just crushes and cracks and smashes everything. But we're gonna look at it as, let's take it into the MMA and it's kind of empty hands. So we've just got a basic head locked down. Now, again, even without the rings, look, we can use this kind of process to manipulate or the bones to manipulate. Now, Ruben's gonna just start pushing up and away slowly so you can see, look, now, look where the salute fits into this. I'm just gonna slide the hands over the head. Now, as it's pushing away from me immediately, that's the ballistic shot on the eye socket. So we've got a potential knockout on the temple or the eye socket. Now, if he just pushes a little bit wider on the biceps or the hands a little bit, it's a little bit more awkward, but if we're equal-ish, I can still find this area and it gives me, look, from the salute, this kind of line to bring the head back down and to take the head again. So I'm just coming back in, Ruben. So the salute itself in motion is just this look. Sliding over, push, find it. If we've got a trap on the hand, we're going to keep that and we're going to bring it back in and catch him with a nice shape on as well. So as some of you know, I've got a big history starting back in BJJ with the Machado brothers and all the way through to like and my great friend based in the UK, Browley Estima. So one of our challenges in the early days was did this kind of stuff fit inside BJJ timing when the guys are really good? And yes, it does. And especially if it's outside and we bring back in these little things again, the equalizers, because again, we don't care who anybody is, eh? If you know your game and you've got a piece of metal, a piece of metal is a piece of metal. Go and have a play with that one. 